Hey everybody, Ron Carruthers here. I have got an absolutely killer video for you guys today. You guys are gonna dig this one. I'm going two markers, it's gonna be awesome for Friday afternoon or to watch over the weekend. What I'm gonna be talking about is how to really reduce the retirement risk. Sounds like a mouthful, say that five times fast. The retirement risk in your portfolio. And um, what happens is, if you watched my video from a couple of days ago, um, you saw where I talked about the biggest retirement risk that people aren't talking about, which is the sequence that they earn their returns in. And if you guys didn't watch that video, watch this, but then go back and watch that one. You'll really enjoy it. And what it showed was a family who earned a 27% positive return, a 9% positive return, a 7% positive return, and one negative 15% percent return. So we took two families in this case study and all we did was switch the order. One family had the best, second best, third best, and then the bad year in that order repeating. The other one just reversed the order. It was the worst year, then the, the least good year, the 7% year, then the 9% year, then the 27% year. And so what happened in there was one family ran out of money 13 years earlier than the other family did. And all that got changed was that sequence. And so what it meant was average and actual rates of return are not the same. So the sequence that you earn your money is one of the big risks of retirement. The second thing that's a big deal is market risk, which we're gonna talk about today. How do you remove some of that pressure on your portfolio to, to perform? Um, while wow, the alliteration is out of control today, oh, it's Friday. And uh, by the way, I didn't even mention I'm broadcasting from the world headquarters of Life Pro Financial Services, our business partners on that. These guys are super cool. If you've ever gotten a report from us with numbers on it, these are the guys that helped put it together. So on this, I'm actually going to have to go to my notes here because it's an actual case. Um, just modified ever so slightly for one of our clients, so the numbers are all round, where you can see how we took a lot of that pressure off of that market risk. Inflation is a big risk for a client's portfolio, and then outliving the money, um, because longevity is a big deal. Also in that video, I talked about the 4% rule, and kind of why 4% isn't really the preferred way that we like to see our clients take their money out, at least not if all the money's in the market. So let me show you how this works. Before we get to that, I want to talk to you about one other thing, which is yesterday I made I had a free gift for you guys, and it was a report on how you handle um, kind of your natural defaults personality-wise in four major areas, uh, processing information, managing change, implementing strategies, and there's one other in that report. Um, and what I'm going to do tomorrow is go through and walk you through a couple of those. I saw a ton of you guys took advantage of that. By the way, if you haven't yet and you're not on our email list, so you didn't get the email with the link, just write the word gift in the comments section here and I'll send that to you. It's me personally doing it. It's not automated. We haven't figured that out yet. So you might have to wait a little bit. But for right now, I'm going to go through and um, put that down and then tomorrow, Saturday, I'm going to record a video for everybody who did it to kind of show you the results. And um, again, you're welcome to use that as much as you like. You can get your spouse to do it, get your family to do it, get your kids to do it. It'll really help you and give you instructions like this is the way they like to receive information so you get the maximum result. This is what they don't like. And all of this was written by behavioral scientists who worked with a lot of families thought about money among other things to really help them relate better to each other and we actually started using it in our practice to help us be able to communicate with our clients better and then we found the natural byproduct was that they communicated with each other better and with their kids better so if you want that it's free it'll take you about 10 minutes to do just pop the word gift in there now for today's lesson we're going to show a case study of someone who is 65 years old wanted to work another five years. So here's kind of your basics. And uh, I jacked up my arm, oh, the pink pad. Well, I have pink and green. 
We'll save the green for later. We're going to start with the pink, okay? So here's what happened. He had $750,000, and he was 65 years old. And yes, I did hurt my arm at the gym, so I could barely lift it. It's bad. Anyway, what he wanted to do was the 4% rule, but he wanted $40,000 a year. So what does that mean? Well, he's going to work five more years. So we got to get this 750 to a million. All right. So the first question I have for you guys, I'll give you a second to think about it. If we've got five years and we've got 750,000, what rate of return do we have to earn to get at 750 to a million dollars? If you don't have a calculator handy, the answer is 5.92 actual. That's what we have to actually earn to make that happen. Now, is that doable? Sure. It's absolutely doable. But is it guaranteed? No, it's not. Because to do that, CDs aren't going to pay that. Probably bonds aren't going to pay that. So we're going to have to take some risk. And of course, that means we go into the market. And if we're going into the market, what can happen over the shorter time period? See, the market works best over long time periods, not over short time periods. So if we've only got five years, what can happen? Well, what if today was 2008, October 2008? Not only is he not getting his 5.92, his 750 is going to go down and might only be 400,000. This portfolio is going to have to work until he's 75, waiting for it to come back. We don't want that. So let me show you what we do to take the pressure off of this portfolio. And this goes into that second strategy that I mentioned when I was talking to you guys in the video a couple of days ago. Hold on, I forgot to check to see if this erases easily. And this is not fun with a messed up shoulder, guys. I'm not gonna lie to you. Oh, 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 oh. all right, sorry, yeah, and it's great. Uh, obviously, you can tell I'm not a trained actor turning my back to the camera. All right, now we're gonna go into the green, enough of the pink. So we will rewrite the number though, 5.92%. So that's a keeper. That's what we needed to earn before. We don't have a red marker, I'd write it in red. Now here's what we're gonna do. In this strategy, we used an ABP to make up the difference. ABP stands for Asset Backed Pension. So what that is, is kind of what we talked about in that flooring strategy. So in simplest terms, Social Security, Asset Backed Pension. Government's gonna give you money for the rest of your life. A regular pension, people put assets into it, company you worked for, if you worked for a state or city or school district, they put, they set aside money for you into a pension fund. The pension is what pays you money for as long as you live. So we're going to get our own asset back pension and we're going to put $225,000 into that. Now with one of the, the investment companies that we use for this, if this person earned a zero rate of return, nothing on this investment, and it obviously can make money, but we're gonna assume the worst case scenario. Worst case scenario, in five years, they will pay my client $17,325 a year for the rest of his life, with inflation adjusted, so it'll continue to go up. 17,000 rest of his life, okay? So now, what does that leave? Remember, we originally had 750. I can't get my arm up high enough to write that far. We originally had 750, so we still got 525,000 left. More than half the portfolio didn't get touched. Now, the question is, if we want to earn the remaining 22,675 so that with this that equals the 40,000 per year that the client wanted what interest rate do we have to earn on this money remember originally the entire thing had to earn 5.92% every year 
minimum for five years, no losses, what do we need to earn now to make up that difference? See, we took almost half of it away. Here's the answer, 1.55%. Now, could he, if he wanted to, to guarantee his retirement, just take that whole money and stick it in a five-year CD and today get 1.55%? He absolutely could. Could we have put more of this 525 over here to get more income here and then left the rest of the market? Absolutely. If we'd put 500,000 ish in there and let 250,000 go into the market, then that would have turned around and taken care of itself. So you can see these asset backed pensions are really powerful because what you're doing, when you buy insurance, when you buy car insurance, homeowners insurance, anything like that. Um, oh, by the way, before we go to that, at 1.55%, this would have gone to 566,000 and change, which 4% of this is what would have given us the 22. If it did any better than that, or if this made any money, now my client has not only taken the pressure off the portfolio, what he's done is he's increased his income without taking more risk. See, one of my favorite sayings in business here, is the losses always hurt you more than the gains help you. So what we believe, and I've said this, you'll see this even on our website, is there's more opportunity to be made avoiding losses than there is picking winners. And so let's go back to what is the point, for instance, of insurance? Well, insurance is to protect you against a risk that you can't afford on your own. So today, if your house burned to the ground, if you have a mortgage on it, they require you to put mortgage on, uh, insurance on that house, or fire insurance and stuff like that. And so why is that? Well, because the bank wants to know they're going to get their money back. And in some cases, if there's anything left over, you get to rebuild your house. Because most of us couldn't afford to rebuild a two, three, four, five hundred million dollar house. Question is, can you afford to have the market losses when you're retired and not going back to work. So think of this as protection against your income so that we've taken that pressure off the portfolio. We've, we've now got 74% less that the portfolio has to earn. If it earns more, great. And we still have taken a lot of steps closer towards guaranteeing that we're gonna get what we want. What I see in my practice day in, day out, is way too many of my clients have way too much money in the market. And when I ask them, what happened to you in 2008? They're like, dude, I got killed. Like, I, oh, it was bad. And as a financial advisor who's been at this, I'm in my 29th year. College I've been in, I think this is my 26th year. But in finance, 29th year. So really all I've done except bartending my entire professional life. And I was a very good bartender. So a high-end restaurant. I was a pretty good waiter um, in the high-end restaurant business. But um, I was a so-so bartender. But anyway, um, this is how I made my living. So I was in the business in the early 2000s when the dot-com meltdown hit. And I can tell you, got a couple panic phone calls. But it was kind of this nice steady decline. In 2007 and 2008, it was more of a sharp cliff, and I took more panicked phone calls from clients in three months in my career than I did the entire three years of the dot-com meltdown. My client base was a little bit older, a little bit closer to retirement, and so they were genuinely freaked out, and it took the market several years to recover. Well, since the mid-90s, we've been teaching our clients these sorts of strategies so that they can go ahead and retire a little more securely. And so for clients that I haven't had this conversation with, I ask them, hey, where is your money? In most cases, 80, 85, 90% of it's in the market at risk. And my question is, okay, let's, let, let me repeat what we just said. What happened to you in 2008? I got killed. 
Where is all your money right now? Same place it was in in 2008. We got to fix that, y'all. And you don't need to do much. What if this earned 5.92%, same as it was going to in the original thing? What if this earns your money? All of a sudden, you've lowered your risk, and by doing so, you've actually improved your overall retirement lifestyle. So that's a concept I want you guys to get. And if you want to chat about it and look at your situation, no problem. You know where to find us. Shoot us a direct message. Throw something in the comments. Give my office an email. My assistant is stephanie.manuel at ronkruthers.com. Um, you know, we're easy. we try to make it easy for you to find us. Just let us know. We're happy to put some reports together for you, show you exactly what you can do to take the pressure off your portfolio. So that's your lesson for the day. I got to get out of here. They're going to be closing up soon and uh, go sit in traffic for the long weekend. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys learned something. I'll be back at you tomorrow with a video on how to interpret that report if you didn't. If you haven't done it, it's only eight minutes. I'm giving it to you as a gift. I pay a small fortune to get access to this. And they just tweaked it so it can be unlimited. So I'm passing that along to you guys. It's a great report. I'm going to walk you through exactly how to interpret it. And then come next week, we'll be back chatting about college and retirement stuff. All right. Have a good weekend. Hope you guys stay safe out there. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Feel free to share it. Pass it along. Hit the like button. Let us know you enjoyed it. All right. We'll talk to you soon.